All right, so it is time for some more universe sandbox experiments. I asked Twitter what I should do, and I saw a few people were all saying, a few people were saying the same thing, uh, that I should try and create the solar system the way, or a more, uh, create the solar system in a more ancient way of thinking, where Earth was the center of the solar system and everything revolved around the Earth. I kind of have a feeling what's going to happen. I'm going to try and not put the sun in because if I put the sun in, then everything is just going to end up orbiting uh, the sun. But let's see, I wanna see how many planets I can get to orbit the Earth. I, have, I, I figure I can probably get all of the inner planets to orbit the Earth, but then I figure as soon as I put in Jupiter, then everything is gonna start orbiting Jupiter because Jupiter is just this massive thing, many times bigger than the Earth. So let's see what happens. So we're gonna start with a blank slate. We're gonna put in Earth right there. That I hold on. Put in Earth right about. Oh my God. Why is it all frozen? I guess it's because there's no sun. All right. Oh, there we go. Okay. I don't know why that was all frozen, but we have Earth right here. I guess it's just. Is it going anywhere? I guess it's just kind of floating in space. Great. So. Oh, what do I want to do? I want to put in uh, Mercury, I guess. Mercury is going to orbit around Earth. So I should probably put it out super far. That way things don't end up going too super, super chaotic. So add Mercury. Do I have Mercury orbiting Earth? I do. Uh, orbital period is 81.4 days. I actually got that pretty good. Okay, 88 days for Mercury. Okay. Earth actually is uh, tugging a little bit towards Mercury, <laughs> so Mercury's got a pull on Earth, and Mercury uh, is orbiting around Earth. Okay, so Earth is still the dominant thing in the solar system. So let's try putting uh, Venus in then. I don't, I can't remember how big Venus is compared to the Earth. Is Venus bigger than Mars? I want to say Venus is bigger than Mars. Let me see, let's, what's the mass? The mass of uh, Venus is 666.2 moons, uh, Earth is... 81.3 moons. Actually, Venus is pretty comparable in size. Actually, what's going on with Earth now? Is it affecting Earth's spin? Now that we have Mercury and we have Venus going crazy here. Actually, Venus is fairly close. Venus is super far. Okay, we got a stable, stable solar system or an Earth system. The Earth system. Earth currently has two moons. Great. Now, let's, uh, I guess I'll put Mars. Should I put Mars in Mars's rightful spot, or should I put Mars in Earth's spot? I guess I'll put Mars in its rightful spot. That way I can just give it a little bit of cushion. I wonder if I can get Jupiter to orbit Earth. I don't think that's possible, just because Jupiter is much bigger. Okay, so now we got Mars orbiting around. We got Mercury. There's a big gravita gravitational pull going towards Mercury and Mars, just because they happen to be on this side, and Venus is over here. So Venus is super far. Is it affected at all? 226 days for the orbit. Earth doesn't have an orbital period. Uh, Mercury is actually inching a little bit closer to Earth for some reason. It's getting a little bit more unstable. I'm going to speed things up just a little bit more. Just so I can see. Whoa! Oh! 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 This is not stable at all! Holy shit! <laughs> this is actually interesting. This is cool. Mars is just slowly going around. Earth and Venus, and Earth and Venus are just having a fight to the death. So, this disproves whoever's theory, whose theory was it? Now I have to look that up too. Yeah, we got like a triple system going here. And then Mercury it just shot off out of the Earth system. Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck it, let's put in Jupiter. Let's just have the big boy come in. Jupiter's coming in hot! Okay, now what's gonna happen? Right, we got Earth turning around here. Mars just did a complete 180. Oh my god. Oh, and they're just all going right into Jupiter. Where's Jupiter going? Jupiter's just kind of flying out. Are they going to slingshot around? Let's hurry up and get Saturn in. <laughs> oh, there they go. Whoa. Oh, I think we just... What just happened? Did you guys see... Whoa. Jupiter was like for a second a sun. Oh, that's unfortunate. We lost Earth. Oh! That is cool! So now we got Venus in the elliptical orbit around Jupiter. And same with Mars, but unfortunately we had a casualty. Our own planet. 
So I think it's safe to say that our own planet is not going to be able to run the solar system. But you know what? I'm going to try it one more time. I'm just going to quickly place everything and I'm just going to see what happens when everything is in the solar system. So the ancient people say Earth was the center of the solar system, huh? Well, let's uh, let's just gradually see what happens as uh, we speed things along. Oh, no, Earth is getting pulled away. So is Mercury. So is Venus. <laughs> and Jupiter is actually kind of going towards Earth as well. So Venus and Mercury are just kind of zigzagging along, trying to orbit Earth. But really, Jupiter is going to eat them all up. I'm going to slow it down. Okay, I'm going to try and zoom in on Jupiter. I want to see this up close happening. I want to see them crash into uh, the planet. Whoa, Mercury just is... Oh, fucking shit! No! Earth, no! Okay, I witnessed it a little bit. Oh my god. And look at it go. That's like, uh, implies that uh, Jupiter is solid. Oh, shit! Oh, poor Earth. Poor Jupiter, too. Jupiter's taking a hit. <laughs> I was only going three minutes per second, too, and just quickly flew right into the planet. Oh, what's happening with Jupiter here? Hold on, this is cool. Oh, we got, like, this ring right here that is all lit up? So that's what happened to Jupiter when a planet crashes into it. It turns into a big fireball. It's trying to be a sun, actually. I think it's, like, igniting something. Maybe it's the hydrogen. All the hydrogen on the planet just like becomes this big fuel and then i guess it kind of burns out a little bit oh it's getting brighter and brighter it's basically a sun right now holy shit so we have this power thing at the side of the screen and we can actually shoot planets at other planets so hey, let's have some fun i don't know pluto pluto is always getting shit so let's give pluto a chance at redemption this is your one job pluto go into <laughs> Jupiter as the sacrifice. What happens when you throw Pluto into a burning Jupiter that already has had a planet crashed into it? Let's find out. This is science after all. Oh, exciting stuff about to happen. Oh! Rest in peace, Pluto. Why not? Let's fire a couple more. Dear, 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 dear. Carpet bomb them of Pluto! <laughs> it's like a meteor shower of Pluto. It's a Pluto shower. Oh my god. Is anything bad gonna happen if I do this too much? Actually, I'm slowly like accelerating the spin of Jupiter when I do this. Let's just keep let's keep doing it some more. This is actually making my computer lag now. <laughs> just keep firing at the side, kinda spin it like it's a basketball on your finger. Maybe eventually we can actually turn Jupiter into a sun if we just keep firing Plutos at Jupiter. Because that's, what's, that, that's what happens. Every single time a meteor crashes into a planet, the, mass get, the planet gets more massive because that mass just got added to the planet. So I'm really, I'm just adding mass to the planet and, you know, theoretically, right, it, it should turn into a star if I keep adding enough mass. Maybe Pluto is not the most effective thing. I'm gonna try and fire Earth. One whole Earth at Jupiter. Is it like burning up? Is it going to get progressively hotter? Oh boy. Oh! That's a firework show. What if I fire Uranus? At Jupiter. <laughs> oh! oh! Oh my god! Oh, that really affected the spin too. Look at that. It's completely... It's got a Uranus orbit. Jupiter just inherited Uranus's orbit. Let's fire Saturn at it. Fuck it! Fire Saturn! Oh my god! Oh! How does it feel, Jupiter? You're now 1.31 Jupiters, and it's just a big white ball! Fire a second Jupiter! At Jupiter! <laughs> oh. Huh? It's a double Jupiter! 2.31 Jupiters now! Oh, this is- Wait a minute. What the fuck? Ah! Oh! Oh boy. Jupiter! Jupiter number two, play nice, guys! Oh boy! <laughs> this is- Oh wait. 
Are they just orbiting each other? Maybe they're gonna miss. Oh my god. Yep, they're just orbiting each other. Holy shit! Look at all these Jupiters! <laughs> Someone- and these, these things need to be disrupted. They have to. I need to fire this Jupiter into that Jupiter, and I think I can do it by firing a... a another Uranus towards that Jupiter so it could be like a game of billiards. Wait, where's that Uranus? What the fuck? Oh, oh, damn. Okay, this is now three Jupiters. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, 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 man. Four Jupiters. <laughs> what a strange solar system we got going here. This isn't even phasing me anymore. It's like, whatever. All right, come on, come on. Get it from the side, Uranus. Hit Jupiter from the side. Okay, last thing. Let's just fire Earth into the big red spot because I want to do it. Oh my god. This thing's moving so slow. Oh, it's not gonna do it. No! 